Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So, wow, this video was definitely unexpected for me to make. I think before I get into it, I should first off say thank you for all of your kind words and just your support on the video that I posted last week. It was really, really hard for me to talk about that because it was so, so personal and it was almost embarrassing for me to talk about, which should never be the case for anybody. But I think once I got it out in the open and I actually spoke the words that I've been keeping inside me for so long, it made me feel better in a way. And also just seeing how much of a family that you guys are to me, that also made me feel better and it made me just feel really comforted. So thank you to everybody who supported me on that video, which was like literally 98% of people. Now, after that video went up, I had a lot to think about because obviously talking about that stuff brings back a lot of memories. And that night when I went to bed, I was sort of lingering on the emotions I was feeling when I was 16. And I sort of realized that I never got to tell him how I felt. Basically, he got punished and I never really spoke to him again. We never were in contact again. And other people, like teachers and stuff, got to tell him, hey, you did this thing wrong, but I never actually vocally or in any way said, hey, this was why it was so wrong and this is how it impacted me. He never ever got to hear that. So I feel like although I'm feeling better that I got got it out in the open, I still have this sort of small void. You know, I have this small place in my heart where things feel unfinished and I felt like I needed that closure. And this whole thing happened seven years ago. So it's been a very, very long time. So for some reason, and maybe it was a crazy idea, I don't know, but I felt like I needed to reach out to him. Now, the only way possible that I knew to reach out to him was Facebook. And no, obviously we don't have each other as friends, but but I know his first name, I know his last name, and pretty much everybody has Facebook, or at least the people that I grew up with. So yes, I had this option where I could literally reach out to him and tell him all of my emotions that I was feeling at the time, but I didn't know if this was a rational idea, so usually when I'm unsure of things, I call my mom, and I called her and I told her what I wanted to do, and she was very supportive, as she usually is, but she also sort of gave me some warnings, because obviously when you do something like this, there's different possible outcomes that could happen. Some of them not so good and some of them just sort of meh. So option one, I could send him what I was feeling and he could just not read it or not get it. Because I don't know, people don't really use Facebook anymore all the time. Option two, he gets it, he reads it, and just never responds, just ignores it. Which honestly is not a really bad option for me because at least he's read it, you know what I mean? That's all I really want to happen. So there's that option. The third option, he could get really, really angry and reply angrily and that obviously won't make me feel good because his aggression was what sort of put me in that place when I was 16, so I don't want to get any more of that from him. Um, and then there's the fourth option option where maybe he's a changed person, maybe he has felt terribly about it the past seven years, and maybe me giving myself this closure also gives him the closure because I do believe that people can change and become better. And if he honestly felt sorry about what he did, I am the type of person who forgives. And I feel like forgiving sort of makes you feel a lot better and sort of warms your heart. So I really had no idea what was going to happen and I wasn't even sure if I was going to do it. But um, after talking to my mom, I sort of left it for a couple days and then I decided that yes I was going to do this so I'm going to read you the message that I sent him it's kind of long um, but in the end he did respond and I will read you his response and tell you what I think about his response but before I talk to you about this I just want to say I know I have a large following and I impact a lot of younger viewers so I just want to say that that me doing this is in no way telling you to ever contact your abuser obviously every single situation is going to be different. If you're in a threatening situation, if you're feeling unsafe, I would say definitely no, do not contact the person who has abused you. For me, it's been seven years where I haven't heard from him, I haven't been threatened by him, nothing has happened in that span of years where I feel like I am unsafe, and that is the only reason why I am contacting him. It's because after he was punished, he never did it to me again. So everyone's situation is different. Definitely ask family and friends their advice before doing something like this, because I wouldn't want to put you guys in any danger. So just saying that. So I'm going to go ahead and read you what I sent him. Just going on to my Facebook messenger. 
Okay. And obviously I'm not gonna like tell his name or anything else. I'm just gonna read off of my messenger because I do wanna keep him private. So I said, hi, I know this might seem completely out of the blue to you, especially since it's been about seven years since we've spoken, but there's something I'd like to get off my chest. Don't feel pressured to respond to this. My only wish is that you'll at least read it and understand. You and I both know what happened in 2011, and I'm not sure if you've thought about it since then, but I've thought about it every single year that passes. I had no voice back then. I did didn't express my feelings the way I wanted to, and it's one of the reasons why I got myself into so much trouble, because I couldn't stand up for myself. So today, I wanted to tell you exactly how I was feeling and how I've grown over the past seven years. It may not be important to you, but it is to me, and I think by telling you this, I'll be able to move on with my life. When we met that year in architecture class, I was shy, I kept to myself, and you took advantage of that. To this day, I'll never know what compelled you to be so cruel to me but it wasn't right. Every day that I went home after school, I felt disgusting, and I had the marks on my arms to remind me every second that I was in a dangerous situation, but I was too afraid to speak out. You know I said no to you many times, but it wasn't loud enough for people to hear, so you didn't care. Those few months that you carried out your assault towards me absolutely broke me, and I can confidently say they were the worst months of my entire life. When you went home after school, after squeezing me, hitting me, and kicking me, how did you feel? Did you feel like you had a successful day? Did you feel proud of yourself? Did you feel any guilt or regret? Did you even think about me at all? I'm writing this to you today because although yes, you did get punished for your actions, and yes, you were told how much you affected me, in the end, you never heard it directly from me. You heard it from other people who told you it was wrong. You never had to face me. You just got away. You've been living these past seven years probably thinking everything was fine. So speaking for my 16 year old self today, you hurt me, you broke me, you made me feel like I was nothing, and you scarred me for a very long time. You made it so I couldn't trust people, and you made me look at the world differently. Now, in saying this, I realize people can change. I don't know the direction your life has gone since we parted. I don't know if you've learned from your mistakes. I don't know if you're a better person. I hope you are. But I do hope this impacted you in some way, even if it's just knowing the pain you caused to the full extent. I've grown tremendously since knowing you. I'm more confident, I have a voice, I'm happy, I'm successful, I'm surrounded by love. So while you had the power over me as a young teenager, you don't anymore. In fact, I'm stronger than I ever was because of you. So thank you for showing me how important it is to stand up for what's right, to protect my body, and to never feel ashamed for seeking help. That's all I have to say to you today. I genuinely wish you the best in life and hope your past mistakes have made you a better human being. So that is what I sent and I was like crying and I was so emotional the entire time and um, he didn't respond for a while. Um, it took I think almost 11 hours for him to respond and he didn't really say a lot unfortunately but I was at least glad that he read what I sent him. So he responded with, I am surprised to be hearing from you. I'll admit that I haven't thought about this in a long time. Yes, I did used to treat women very disrespectfully respectfully, and while I'm not going to sit here and write out a long apology, I do respect that you needed to say your piece. I'm trying my best to live a better life, but I can't control my past. So he said that he wasn't going to say sorry, which I mean, I'm not surprised about, but it does sadden me. But I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. He says he's trying to live a better life, which is all I can, you know, possibly ask for. As long as he's not doing this to anybody else, then I'm happy. But I did feel some sort of closure from this. And at first, I wasn't even going to make this video with this update, but I thought because I sort of included you guys on my first video, you guys also might feel some closure for me because I had messaged him. So I thought it was important to let you guys know about this, and you are my family, you are my friends, and I just like to share really important things in my life like this. So yeah, I guess that is the end of that chapter for my life. I'm glad I got it out, I'm glad I got past that really dark place, and just thank you again for all your support. And in the coming videos, they will be more positive and not so depressing like these ones. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!